Good evening. Good evening, uh, music lovers, friends, guests. My name is Michael Gordon. I'm the uh, director of British Council in Kuwait. And this is Dr. Issa Alansari, Assistant Secretary General of National, Kuwait's National Council for Culture, Arts and Letters. Welcome. Welcome to our concert of collaboration uh, offered to you by British Council and the National Council of uh, Culture, Arts and Letters in celebration of 120 years of friendship between the state of Kuwait and the United Kingdom. Of course, um, friendship between our two countries goes back further than, uh, much further than 120 years, but it was in um, 1899 that the two countries signed the Treaty of Friendship. So that has given us an excuse, a reason to celebrate throughout 2019. All of the various British organizations in Kuwait have come together in collaboration also with Kuwait organizations and Kuwait Embassy and organizations in the UK to offer a program of events in, um, in celebration. So tonight is the first of um, the British Council's um, events and we're also delighted to welcome His Excellency the uh, United Kingdom's ambassador to Kuwait um, Mr. Michael Davenport. So tonight, from Wales, United Kingdom is four countries, so we've, um, from Wales tonight, we've uh, arranged for um, the band Nine Bach to perform for us. And from Kuwait, we have um, Nawaf um, Al Geraiba and his ensemble. Both Nainbach and Nawaf al are um, blend a kind of mixture of um, traditional and modern music, and they also play music with a strong sense of place, of people and stories, both their own places and places of other cultures, places which have, have influenced them. The result is something amazing, something lovely, and it's music that you cannot categorize. You can't put it into a box and say it's this type of music. You're going to love it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that now. And you tell me if I'm wrong or not afterwards. In the spirit of collaboration, um, Nawaf and Nainbach have been collaborating, making music together right here. So tonight we're going to hear something that's never been heard before as they play together and show us their creation. And it's what a wonderful way to celebrate cultural relations. You'll also hear some amazing diversity of words in different languages. You'll hear Welsh language, Arabic, English, and I think some more, more languages. But of course, it's the international language of music that brings us all together. Dr. Alansari, I would like to say thank you very much for collaborating with us. Without you, National Council, this would not have been possible. Sakam Allah Khair. Sad Allah Masakum, I'm Dr. Isa Ansari, Stadia Matli Kuwait, Wakil Musad, the Qatar Thakafa, Bil Majid Lawatan, the Thakafa, the Funwal Adab, Bi Kulil Hope, Wat Tagdir, Wal Makam Rafir, Lisa Adet, Safir, and Lakram with Tahida, Wa Sadir Al Jami, Rais Al Majid Al Britani. نحن في المجلس الوطني لنا امتداد حقيقة ثقافي عميق مع دول تتصدرها المملكة المتحدة منذ قدم الكويت القديمة والحديثة سعداء في حقيقة باستمرار هذا التعاون وسعداء بمرور حقيقة 120 عام على هذه الصداقة إذا الجمهور الكويتي الجمهور العربي الجمهور الإنجليزي الصديق وكل الحضور على هذه الأرض الجميلة بلد السلام الكويت استمتعوا بهذه الليلة وشكرا جزيلا Thank you very much and now let's welcome Nain Bach Mahaban this 
Assalamu alaikum. Sit a chi, go beth i'r bach i'n iawn. Dyn ni'n ddod yn canu yn yr iaith Gymraeg. Um, a fel hyn mae o'n swnio. We're going to be singing um, in our mother tongue, in our language, um, which is uh, Welsh. And uh, it's got lovely similarities with your beautiful language um, as well that we've been enjoying since we're here. Uh, we are Nine Bach, and uh, this first song is called Thin D, which means Black Lake. Um, and it's about someone being trapped um, in the lake and feeling a little bit deranged. A beautiful, strong woman. Uh, 
Um, this next song um, is about um, the last remaining uh, male white rhino um, in the world. I don't know if you heard the story of Sudan, um, this beautiful um, rhino um, who, um, in Africa who was um, poached for his um, horn. Um, recently he died, unfortunately. Um, but this is from a perspective of a poacher, um, of someone who enjoys uh, the trophy killing, someone who, uh, uh, you know, has that need in them to, to kill something so beautiful just for fun. Um, it, I question what happens to your heart, what happens to your, what happens to your belly, who, who are you? Um, if you enjoy doing that kind of thing. So, er Olav means the last.
شكراً Everyone okay? Yes? Good. It's so nice to see you. beautiful, warm faces um, in front of us. If you, I like connecting to an audience. I want you to feel relaxed. I want you to put your hands up and ask me anything if you want. I don't want a, a wall here. <laughs> we don't want a wall anywhere. Uh, this is uh, talking about walls and no walls. Uh, this uh, next song is called Anyan. It's a beautiful Welsh word um, that's dying. So please use it uh, as much as you can uh, in your language if you can. It means an amazing thing. It means a connection. It means your vibe. Um, it means the making in you, the nature in you that connects to someone else or it connects to a place. So it can uh, be you are connected because of your culture, your language, your um, upbringing. But it's not just that. It's not about language or culture. Uh, you can have the same anyan as someone from the other side of the world. Um, and you immediately connect through your eyes and through the first few sentences you say and you go, ah, you see, you and me, we have the same anyan. Um, and it's about connection. It's really beautiful. Please use it.
diolch. Thank you. Shukran. Um, this next song, um, is it helpful um, to know what the song is about? Or is that good? Yeah? Um, okay. <laughs> sometimes I talk too much because I get very excited about the stories and um, sometimes you just, you know, people just want to listen to the music. But like I say, it's important to me that uh, we connect uh, not only through the music, but through our love and our outlook and, uh, yeah, everything. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is a, um, an old Welsh folk song. In the Welsh folk songs, they're very, very, very dark. Um, always about love loss and always about losing someone who's gone and will he come back and will she come back. And um, a lot of them are in the minor key and the very, very sad. Uh, this is uh, one of them. Um, uh, he, she uh, is uh, wondering where uh, her loved one has gone um, and will he ever come back. Um, and he, he doesn't. So, uh, yeah, it's called Pale, which means which place.
Björk. So I'm sorry um, we have brought the rain with us from Wales. Everywhere we go, we bring the rain. Um, and I believe, is it still raining outside? Yeah, well, thanks for coming out in the rain. Uh, we appreciate it very much. So this next song uh, is another Welsh folk song um, that would traditionally have been sung with no instrumentation. Um, but uh, in 9 Bach, we like to take the old tradition and make them our own. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, Bus in Benign is about this amazingness of this woman, an old lady who's living on her own um, in a mountain with nothing around her at all. She has no idea what's going on in the world. She has her chickens, she has a goat, she has um, a uh, person. Very person, Orchard. Orchard. She has an orchard. She has all these amazing things, and she has no telly. I'm, I mean, it doesn't say that in the song, but that's what I kind of make out of it. Uh, and how beautiful that is. Oh, what a wonderful world it would be if we didn't know about all the awful things that are happening. <clears throat>
شكراً So this next song um, is a song that I wrote um, in the uh, Red Desert of the Northern Territory of Australia. Uh, it's a song uh, that just came out of me um, for political reasons um, and for emotional reasons as well. Um, it's a song about the stolen generation of the children um, of the Aboriginal people in Australia. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with um, the awfulness that was happening, um, still is, um, to a very big degree. Thank you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really bad, and the racism is still really strong there, um, and the Aboriginal people are treated still now very badly. However, um, up until the late 70s, children were taken from communities um, by the white people and um, never to see their families ever again. There was no paperwork. They were taken away to be white. Um, and there are over 400 different Aboriginal tribes and languages, and these children were taken from one side to the other side um, with no chance of finding out what their tribe was, what their language was, um, and who they were. Um, and as a result, uh, it's a really bad um, feeling, uh, of course. Um, and uh, I was very shocked when I was there that this was still happening in the 70s. Um, and we met and made music uh, with amazing uh, Aboriginal people. And, um, and I had to simply say the story and bring the story back home to, um, to Wales. Um, so plentin uh, means child, and it's a, uh, a, a very, um, you know, uh, st a story, a true story um, that I've kind of uh, made about a child and a mum, between a mum and a child. Please 
Everyone okay? <laughs> this is our beautiful landscape of Wales. I swim in there quite often in the snow. I have to break the ice and I go in. I know, that's crazy. Even my dog looks at, at me strange when I do that. That's Llyn Itwell. It's beautiful, isn't it, Ali? Yeah. yeah. Ali's from London, and he uh, comes up very often to appreciate the Welsh hills since he was a child, don't you, Ali? Yeah. I can recognise, he can recognise the names of the hills and the lakes even better than a lot of the Welsh people. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Oh, Llywinog. So this song um, is a song about an imaginary fox that roams uh, the mountains like this. Um, in uh, where I live, um, farmers like to kill foxes and hang them um, to show how cool they are and how strong and how, can you imagine, I'm sure you've had a sense of what kind of person I am already uh, through my songs. Um, obviously, I don't enjoy seeing uh, the foxes uh, dead like that. And so this is an imaginary song for the victory of the fox who um, gets away from the farmer and, um, and has a happy life. Quite a 
to the Fox. Oh, thank you so much. You have been absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Really lovely. It's been a pleasure um, to be in your amazing country and experience the culture and your food. Ah, oh, it's so good. I can't believe I can have like falafels and tahini and hummus and for breakfast and rice and stews and yeah, I'm very, very happy. Um, and this is the last song. Uh, it's called uh, Wedi Tori. Uh, it means it's broken. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure from the heart. Diolch a will od kalon de chidibod mor hyfryd. You have been lovely. Diolch mawr. Thank you. Shukran.
Masalama Ilelika. Yeah, Masalama. Laila Saida. And maybe see you later. But Nawaf and his band is going to be playing after a short interval and they are amazing. Um, so uh, looking forward to seeing them um, and with you uh, later on. Diocho Galon, thank you. It's a bit quiet, isn't it?
Masakum Allah Bukhair. Good evening, everybody. Um, friends, students, colleagues, family, loved one somewhere. I don't see you. Uh, I go by many names, labels, titles. But I would love if everybody could call me the name my mother and father gave me the day I was born into this beautiful world. And that's Nawaf. Uh, or you can call me a name an Arab culture we call um, by the firstborn. So I go by the name of Bujud, which is Bu, father, Jude, father of Jude. And uh, I would love my daughter to have been here, but she would have taken the show from us. So that's why we left her at home. Um, tonight. I will share with you all um, my heart, my mind, and my soul. And together, these are my art. Uh, as, a, as an artist, as a composer, as a creator, you have to reach to your innermost, darkest moments of life to create art or to create light. And in order to have light, we need darkness. You cannot have light without darkness. So light and darkness come together. Tonight, I, we, will take you on a journey, a mad journey, a crazy journey, into my heart, through my mind, around my soul. And I hope you enjoy this trip. My next song is called Bhakti, and Bhakt in Sanskrit is the innermost point of a soul. It's a song I wrote in uh, 2011. Yes, she had to remind me. It's my, it was one of my master's degree um, studies. And in Kuwaiti, we say, Ya Bhakti, my innermost, Ya Hatti, Ya, I'm so lucky, I'm so Bhakt. It's a Bhakt. The lyrics are by Jalaluddin Rumi, sung by the beautiful Nura Qasim, and you just met him a while ago, Abzi. <laughs> So 
Yeah, I, I, get, I get amazed by the song every time. I'm sorry. Um, another song by uh, uh, Rumi that uh, I also did. This is, now, these are my new songs. Those were songs I did in the past. Now you're going to hear a couple of new songs or my new projects. Wherever I travel, every school I go to, every place I see, my students when they come and talk to me, and they always ask me, no, what's your religion? What faith are you in? And I usually say, I profess the religion of love. I have come only to speak of love. I am a child of love. My mother is love, my father is love. My prophet is love, my God is love. Love is my religion and my faith. I am a child of love. We took this poet and we translated into Hindi, which the lovely Shema would be singing for us tonight. I always seem to forget. One of the biggest boys in my member, in my band, Dar Kabani. He'll be playing on the handpan. Can you just show them what's the handpan?
So, I discovered being a father, you get to watch a lot of cartoons. You get to read a lot of children's books. And recently, my wife introduced me to a book called uh, The Runaway Bunny, which is about a little bunny who wants to run away from his mother. And wherever he goes, obviously, the mother is always with him. Yeah, the mother is always with you. Mother is always with you. I took the book, interpreted it my way, um, made it Kuwaiti, maybe Arabic, in a way. Um, and to me, I see it as mother is always with you. No matter what, wherever you go, she's always with you. And whatever faith you are in, whatever religion you are in, sometimes we get frustrated and we want to run away from our creator or ourselves if we are non-believers in anything. We look at ourselves in the mirror and we want to escape. So, but you cannot escape. You cannot escape a mother. You cannot escape your faith. You cannot escape your religion. You cannot escape your creator. You cannot escape your God. You cannot escape yourself. It's always with us. The song is called Wiyak. It will be performed by, again, the lovely Shayma and Mr. Abzi.
So, again, I'm still a child, and you'll see throughout the show, I'm a very young person. I grow, my body grows big, my mind grows younger. Um, Alice in Wonderland, anyone unfamiliar with Alice in Wonderland? Huh? Nobody's seen Alice in Wonderland. Haven't y'all eaten the cookie? All right. Let's take you on a little crazy Alice in Wonderland journey. <laughs> Who are you?
Would you like an adventure now? Or shall we have our tea first? Whenever we do the song, I get so tired by the next song, so I just need a breath. Uh, the next song is, uh, is uh, called Imma. Imma is my project, and um, uh, it's about my creation, the way I see creation. I see a mother, a mother is creation, a mother is this earth creation, existence, and so on, and so on, and it keeps going. Um, a child is born. One of the easiest syllables for a child to say, he cannot say boo, he cannot say ah, he cannot say ga, he cannot say ha. One of the easiest things a child can say is mm, because it comes from a closed mouth. And then the next one is ah. That's why we say the child calls the mother first. That's why in many religions they say the om. Is everything, is the earth, is the total. Ma, ma, ma. Um, this song I'll be performing on this wonderful instrument over there. It's called an African Kora, K O R A. And uh, the text or the lyrics is one of the hardest challenges that I had. It's Sumerian, one of the first languages in the world. And as I was studying Sumerian, I discovered that they had introduced musical notation into their language. And they used a complex, back then it was very complex. We have a four, every music genre or every system today is a four by four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, they introduced the six, the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it was notated in their music. Um, singing this wonderful language, and it's a little bit difficult on her. It was a little bit difficult to write it, to compose it, and for this wonderful lady, Shema, to come and sing it for you.
So, again. Being the child that I am, raised by beautiful parents, I always question, I always ask. My daughter does it today to me a lot. Daddy, why? Daddy, why? Baba, why? Baba, why? But we ask a lot. It's good to ask. I tell all my students, ask as much as you can. Never stop people from asking you. Um, sometimes we even question our creator when we go through our dark times and we go through loss or we go through troubles. You get angry. You look up to the skies, you look at yourself and you say, why? Where are you? Show me. Talk to me. Tell me. Sir? And we don't get answers. But subtly we see the answer. And it's there in front of us. But we don't see it. So here's me questioning my creator. The song is called Nimmo Poteya. And in Swahili, Nimmo Poteya means I am lost.
وانا ويلا سومو نفسي يا اما لاوي except with you. You don't listen except with us, so we bond. That's our set for today. Do you want us to go home? So do you want one more song? Yeah. Two. Four. Four is asking too much. <laughs> one more. Encore. How about we bring nine Bach with us? Yeah! How about we collab together, all of us, yeah? Let's welcome them. Call them out. Call you, call them out. How about that? So, so celebrating the 120 years between UK and Kuwait and all this collaboration that we've been doing, I've had the honor to work with such a beautiful cast of musicians. Can I name you my musicians, please? Can I just give you a round of starting from without any order, without any particular order? On guitar, Hashim and Nasser. On keyboard, Ahmed Al Gattan. On bass, Saud Al Saad. My king of drums, Abdullah Adnan. On conga, Mohammed Awaisi. <laughs> On percussions, Ghanem Faraj. <laughs> Far off to the to my right, Abdullah Haji on saxophone. Everybody. <laughs> oh, he gets the big he gets the big hurrahs, huh? Next to him with a beautiful hat, Ahmed Al Gattan. <laughs> Abdul Wahab Al Gattan. Oh my God, my mind. I was like, what's your name, my friend? He's, 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 he's a colleague of mine. And, and, by the way, I, I forget a lot of my names. So even I enter home and I'm like, wife? What's your name? Sorry. <laughs> no, I have to remember her name. My, my vocalists, my beautiful Nora Ghassan. The wonderful Abzi. Supreme beautiful Shayma. and quiet but hiding Ophelia. So you have to understand, for me to work with this crew, I had only 15 days to sit down and practice and rehearse all these songs. So some of them had mistakes, some of them were, I, 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 can, I keep forgetting you, man, you're so big. I keep forgetting you. Tarak Kabani. By the way, he's my Valentine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> big body, big heart. So, so I, had, I had the privilege to work with this crew for the past 15 days. I shouted, I yelled, I got angry, I got frustrated at them. But they bring joy to my heart. They, bring, they, they, they complete me. I can be just a brain. Without them, I am nothing. I cannot perform my art to you except with them. And then I start and I meet this wonderful crew, the Neinbach. And I was... <laughs> and we were amazed with their music and we just fell in love with them. And, and 
we said, let's collab on something. And that's what we started to do. We started collaborating on something, which we're going to start experimenting and presenting to you. Here we go.
Yeah.